What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips Angular 5 tutorial. So this is part second of this video series. In this video, I'll be discussing about how does your Angular 5 application work. Okay, so before proceeding with this video, please watch part first of this video series. In that video, I have explained how to install Angular 5 on your machine. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the basic diagram I have created for you to understand how your application going to work. Okay, so whenever you create your first application, then you will find this file. Let's open that. The Angular CLI JSON will be present inside the root directory of your project. The main.ts and the index.html will be present inside your source folder. This app module.ts, app component.ts, and app component.html file will be present inside the app folder. Let me show you in the Visual Studio code. So this is my application which name is my angular app and the first of all I'll just change the theme of this Visual Studio code so that it can be visible to you. So just click on this color theme and here I'll just select light Visual Studio and then the folder the file icon theme. Okay let me check uh, choose this minimal Visual Studio code. Okay, now first of all, I'll just open this Angular CLI JSON which is present inside the root directory of this project. So I have opened that, and inside the source folder, I'll just find this main.ts file, and inside this app folder, I'll just open this app module.ts file, then app component.ts file, then app component.html file and then finally index.html file okay one two three four five six okay all file are open so let me show you the diagram so here we have angular cli.json file which is the standard global configuration file okay so it's going to tell your application that which file should be included in your build at the time when you start building your application okay so it consists some basic properties apart from that it just consists some a standard uh, configuration like uh, the name of your start HTML page so this is uh, by default the index.html okay and the entry point of your application which is main.ts when you open your main.ts file then you will find this method bootstrap module here we are passing the class name of your application module which is app module and it's going to load our application module so when you open your app module file then you will find this bootstrap array where we are passing the our root component in our case it is app component okay and when you open your app component file there you will find the uh, component decorator okay here you will find some metadata properties like selector template url style urls so the selector is the here we are using the app root okay which is nothing but the name of targeted element which is defined in your index page here you can see app root element and in that element we are going to render this template okay so you either you can just write the inline inline template or you can just sh mention the name of your HTML file so app.component.html so when you open that file then here you will find your template welcome to title okay and the title is defined in this class app component class okay so this template is going to be rendered this template is going to be rendered to this index okay so this is the main logic so here is your angular cli.json file here you will find some certain basic properties and here you have just defined the name of your start html file and the name of your main entry point of your application okay so main.ts just open this ts file there you will find the bootstrap module here we are just passing the app module uh, class let's open the app module ts file and here we are just passing this class name okay and in the ng module this this method and bootstrap module is going to create the instance of this ng module so this app module has been loaded and now it's time to load our root component so inside that 
we have just used this bootstrap method so it's going to load the it's going to bootstrap the our root component so this is in our case it is app component so let's me open this uh, app component file and here you will find comp uh, component decorator inside that we have some metadata properties so the first is app root so which is defined in our HTML page so here you can see and this inside this element we are just rendering this template okay so either you can use template URL or you can use template if you are using template then let's say you can you can write inline template like like this anchor okay you can write in inline template and that will be rendered to this element okay which is defined in the index.html okay so in our case it is a template URL so we have just mentioned the template URL so all the template defined inside this app component dot HTML file so let me open that so here we have just defined few template okay few code we have just written here and this this code will be rendered to this app root okay let me show you the output so here we have welcome to techno tips and if I let me write something here let's say Ashish I have just written inside the uh, index.html and let me delete from this stem let me delete the code here now save it so so this is the HTML page and the content is coming from the HTML and we have just written the template the set of code and that will be rendered to this HTML and this app element app root element tag okay you can you can write your HTML code here inside this or let me define one paragraph here and say that's hello world okay let me save that and that will be visible here hello world okay so hope you understood this concept that uh, how your application going to work so let me show you again so in C angular CLI JSON we have just passed this the entry point of your application name the name uh, of that entry point of your application file and then in that we are just loading the app module and in app module we are just loading the app component and in app component we have the selector and the template URL so this template URL will be rendered to this selector name which is defined in the index page okay so that is the main concept and uh, hope you understood this concept and in future we will add more component and uh, we will understand this module in detail and that's all for today and thank you very much for watching my tutorial if you like it then give a thumbs up and have a great day